you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Noemi what is cluttered pantry looks like it can look beautiful it can be well organized and put everything and sorted into bins but if you or your family member goes there and stands there for five minutes and comes out without picking any kind of food to eat then you have a cluttered pantry because there's a decision fatigue going on when we can't pick from what we have it seems like nothing is appealing nothing seems like good enough and that's because we have way too many things in there the well stuck up pantry is when you can cook very quickly and you can eat food for a whole entire week by creating things from there and if there's a less decisions to make in your pantry then you will have a less of a stress of a time to cook so the first step to go towards to create a capsule pantry is to clean out everything from your cupboard or pantry whatever you use to put your things in there and once you cleared out everything just give a good scrub and just wipe it off and I really like to use lately peppermint oil in my cleaning solution because it just leaves a very fresh smell so once you emptied out your pantry the second step is go through and discard those things that has been expired and if you find things in there that you might be just like the idea that if you would like to eat that but you never eat that item just set aside with all the other items that seems to be sitting there for a while but they're still in good condition and, and not expired and you can just donate it or give it to a friend the third step after you cleaned off all the shelves and you went through all the items you have that whatever you left with that you're going to eat or use and cook with I just like to put them into a clear jars and there's two reasons for that one the foods are staying fresh longer in jars but the main reason I like them in the jars because I get to see the foods I have there's so many company we trained designers who actually designing those products to stand out from the others that means red box with big yelling signs on them to buy me pick me eat me <laughs> you are actually making the choice based on those boxes and instead of the food but when you get to see the food actually itself itself then you can make a better choice or a better decision about what you want to cook or what you want to eat for snack so I transferred all my dried goods like beans and flour everything into jars and there's one thing I want to point out if you like to use a see-through container make sure you keep it in the dark because over time when they expose to the light especially spices but any other items they seem to losing the colors and as well as a nutrition and the taste as well so it's just better to keep it in a dark place mine are in the drawer because we don't have a designated pantry but they are still in the dark because they are in the cabinet so the fourth step is that you have to re-evaluate your recipes and we had a tendency back then we made so many mistakes to choose recipes that we don't actually made that too often but it requires at least 16 ingredients that I couldn't use to any other foods so that doesn't mean we don't eat those foods but during the weekdays when I'm trying to just really keep everything as simple as possible to have less stress and just get things done as fast as I'm possible so I just keep those very simple recipes and rotating them and we have a holiday or a birthday or any other occasion approaching that's when I'm keeping them more complicated recipes that requires more preparing and more ingredients but usually uh, we just go with the more simple recipes and once you figured out all your recipes and that could be your favorite one like lasagna or spaghetti whatever your family or you prefer but once you know those favorite staple recipes then you have the shopping list because 
the ingredients there will be the guide for you that can just um, give you a good map to the store what to buy so we came to the fifth step and that would be once you have the list in your hand and you're heading to the store um, you have to change a little bit and adjust your shopping habit and it's like a similar than the capsule wardrobe before I was keep buying a bunch of clothes that I just loved in the spirit of the moment and I thought oh it looks nice but I never thought through if I have any other similar items so the same applies to the food if your family and you like for example quinoa you don't have to buy any kind of quinoa like the regular one or the mixed one just keep it simple buy one and just rotate them over the weeks like one week you have the quinoa at home and once it's empty you can buy a rice for the next week so it really depends on your need like we have rice every week in my shopping basket because we use lots of rice we're making sushi and all the other things that requires rice you can rotate beans one week you can buy a white bean and the next week you can buy the dark the black ones so you don't have to own all of them just because they are available in the store the sixth step is when you get home from the store and you have all the goodies that you have to put away and if you happen to choose the jars like I did then I just put them into the jars and then after I categorize them so if you have a pantry you can categorize them by having one place all the oils the next one should be the the dried goods uh, all the legumes and for the third one it could be all the pastas and this kind of things so it's it's basically it's just categorized by the items in my case because I don't have a pantry so that would be in uh, it, it would be a little bit harder to that way and it makes much more sense to me just go by the location and if you haven't seen my video how I organize my kitchen and it's based on the area I work on the countertop so I will link it down below for you so you can see that there but this is basically a very similar approach to that so I have the oils in the drawer next to the cooktop and I have all the baking ingredients it's under the, that area in the drawer where I like to prepare all the baking things and then I have a different area where I like to keep all the things that we use for the smoothie and that is close to the area where we make our smoothies and spices are located next to the sink where I like to prepare the meats so it really depends on your situation if you have a pantry or you don't and you have to put it in the cupboard but you can um, break it down to categories or by the location where you're going to use them if you are ever concerned about your expiration date because you don't have the bag anymore I have a solution for that I just cut out the name from the bag and I just put it on the top and also I have this chalk marker that I also like to use on my window I like to take notes here because it doesn't take up much space and it's obvious it's here and it's very easily wipeable so as you can see I can just wipe it off with my finger but you are actually able to just put the date even you can put it on the bottom and for the last note Please don't get discouraged because I know it can be very super overwhelming to especially at the beginning but it's so rewarding like I cannot open my refrigerator or my pantry without picking something that we really really like because we figured out our needs so this was the tips for you guys I really hope that will help you to build your capsule pantry just keep it in mind the feeling what you're going to have every time when you walk into your pantry and you will be able to locate something yummy for you or either for your family and it will have less stress on you and you can create healthy recipes thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon thank you bye